to the NBA 2K25 Summer League from Las Vegas Sunday afternoon. Heading lineups, you're looking at young Cam Christie of the Los Angeles Clippers, one and done at Minnesota. He will be in the The fact that I'm bringing it up at 57, <laughs> but yeah, you know, people forget about it. It's the day after. Is that Boxing Day the 26th, by the way? I think it is. Could have been your nickname. Three, four, five with that big, strong body. Uh, so they're really looking for him to take a leap. Let's it fly on a three, absorb some contact, but still able to. And Brown, or Jordan Miller, I should say, is we got back-to-back -back three pointers by Kobe Brown. Points. Gilliard now the second turnover took it into a couple bad spots. Oh, Miller had such difficulty with bodies down low. Able. Johnson, pretty good on that fade. He likes to shoot the fadeaway, finding that rim as he comes out of the spin. Kite glides in and scores. Oh, Keon Johnson, it's not the first time he's playing for Steve Hetzel, who is the summer league coach for the Nets. As a three-pointer goes down for Jalen. Ball tipped, and the Clippers come away with it with some numbers. Miller hit hard and scored anyway. University of Miami. If you recall, during the hurricane, getting set for the Olympics in Paris in a couple of weeks. That's right. Got him off of Mike Brown's staff in Sacramento. Some young hires right now. The top assistant in the NBA. So a great get for the Brooklyn Nets who are rebuilding. And had a business as a head coach. That's your job, right, to get those guys to a position where they can move on. And by the way, took that last three, just checked into the game. I'm really interested in watching him play today as well because he's one of the best I think we have in Vegas. Uh, guys better by giving kickouts. Keon Johnson with that bucket for Brooklyn. Just their third field goal. And they're right on cue, Ray yeah. J. Dennis. That's a... Martin on the drive, and outside it goes to Johnson. Gets the roll, but that kind of starts the summer. And so far, Bate tried to thread the needle on that pass. Fortunate to get another opportunity and cashed in by Terry Taylor. Year in the league was also Juwan Howard's best year. I think they were connected in some way. He was playing in the league. We both were there for All-Star Weekend. Teammate Rasheed Wallace was there that weekend as well. In the Must have been and still is for you among all the great accomplishments you've had. One of my best memories of that weekend was as I go into the finals of the three-point shootout. A lot of praise from Dante Jones on his ability to spark things when he comes into the game. Yeah, I mean, he really made a point uh, to, to make sure Brooklyn... Uh, Another guy, 2022 second round pick by the Warriors. And I, he's another guy that you watch Phil. Has had, had three surgeries in an 18 month span dealing with that foot at short circuit. So he's going to gobble all that up, get into you, and force you to guard him without fouling. And that's Hetzel going a little 1 2 2 full court trap after those free throws. And a foul on a three out of the corner. A chance at a four of his seasons right here at Thomas and Mack as a member of the running Rebels of. Hank McCall for his time here, but you know it, it fits us better for our time timeline and how we're going to build sustainably and hopefully keep a lot of flexibility over the with, with guys like Nick Claxton. Um, so for us to be able to do that trade and, and move a player of McCall's stature, uh, your first round pick a year ago, it looks like he's a guy that eventually could be a real difference maker for you defensively. But yeah. what are you seeing in that you've added? Yeah, we do. I mean, part of that trade, obviously, bringing back Bojan from, uh, you know, a, a previous net. Uh, when I'm, first, I'm super excited about seeing, you know, how he continues to develop both offensively and deep team with defensive player of the year and so forth. So I think that's definitely a goal for him, definitely a goal for the group. Georgia at all, you knew how versatile that young man is. You know I mean? He played point guard for them for, for a year. So he can certainly handle the ball a little bit. We're establishing a system and a process for Geordie's standpoint, but above all, going out and competing something. So, uh, as you said, it may not be, you know, in, in the overall record. The voice of Sean Marks, general manager of the Brooklyn Nets, watching uh, Jalen Wilson defending right here. Wilson was so terrific build, but I think Sean and his front office have this set up potentially to get it back going, and maybe sooner than they hope. Yeah, I, I, I just love how that played out, and now we're on the second or third iteration of the Nets since then. Uh, multiple coaching chains. They've also missed their last nine three-point attempts. 31-18 in the first quarter. 6-3 in this <laughs> quarter. Ray J. Dennis, who was the number 38 pick. All right, maybe the offense will. Oh, Back in the day. I have never been in there, but yeah. have seen video. And now you go from that to this. Can't wait to see it. I've been... 
there is a USB-C connection, so you will be able to power up all your devices. That right. There yes. you go. Yes. Three points. 16 here. Still a minute 40 to go in the first half. And seven in the first quarter, and here we go. That's the potential we're talking about. Love looking for rim protection and then spacing on the other end. And then here he is on the offensive glass. That's a great stretch there for Noah Clowney here over the last minute. With a little bit of a nosebleed right now. I'm guessing he probably gave him a couple of those <laughs> That's over a the good years point. growing up. Uh, you know, when uh, Cam walked into the building, I was on picks Cam number 46 by the Clippers. Final 18 seconds of the first half. And the Bulls, Warriors, all coming up here from Thomas and Matt. I think that's that's a little bit of a bonus when you're looking at him right now. At eight is six. Clock winding down to five. Gilliard had it stripped away. Gets it. A tough, tough angle. And he hits. How about that for to drew it up? But you'll take it in the box score, right? Cam Christie answering with a three of his own. Yeah, they were knocking down threes. Tenth three-pointer for the LA Clippers here so far today. Clowney comes up short on the fadeaway. You catch the basketball and they said he's the exact opposite. Uh, they want to be maybe even a little bit more assertive than he's been, but he just processes the game. The release of that full extension on his arm, it's, that's pretty. Uh, we obviously told you his parents and his coaches was he was coached very well is what he said. Was Did coached say that. 14 coming up on eight minutes to go here in our third quarter. Wilson the catch and shoot. Clowney goes high and gets fouled. Another category. See, don't ever see <laughs> you unless can't. you're in Vegas Summer League, that's for sure. That's right. And we got a foul this time. Points. Gets these to go. He's left 15. Uh, Thought you were talking MVP. Yeah. We're, we're going to see the reigning Summer League MVP. Can't. And we talk about 10 fouls to foul out. Uh, 10 team fouls as well to get into the bonus. A little speed there from Jacob Gilliard. 41 games in the NBA between Memphis and Brooklyn last year. Contested shot comes out to Hudgens and stepping on the side. For the Clippers, everybody on Brooklyn touched the basketball. Some guys touched it twice on that possession, and there was no space to be had anywhere on that away, or, or both teams are you know, somewhat equal in that regard. You probably have a one possession game right now, but the Nets just really haven't done much at all. Kyrie Irving in that championship seven game win over the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, his exact words were, they got me off my couch. <laughs> That's right. I was sitting on a couch for guys trying to break through. Clippers on the run. As Miller high off the window misses, and we're looking at Paul George moves on. Uh, wasn't happy with the contract offer they made him. He ends up in Philadelphia. So they run it back with James Harden. They run it back and just couldn't do it physically, just with body just breaking down. And, and so they were left shorthanded out there and were not able. Uh, Highs in points and in three-point shooting and played here at UNLV. Yeah, the two-headed monster in the middle for Dallas was really effective with Derek Lively, Daniel Gafford coming in from Washington. Of course, Dallas also added, P added P.J. Washington and Gafford and now gave them greater range defensively. And I think really in there, we'll see what kind of an impact he can have on a very talented roster. The West is no joke, Justin. No, it is not. And then the Houston Rockets. It's remiss for not mentioning the Denver Nuggets. I mean, it's a team that won a championship, and they didn't feel like a one championship type of team to me. Uh, with Nick Leo. Here as well with Wembenyama in year two and adding some pieces around him. Yeah, it's Stefan Castle had a very good opening day here for, for the Spurs. And they're taking a different approach with Victor Wembenyama, but certainly you want to put them in a more competitive environment in the category at least. Well, you know, I'm looking forward. You, you mentioned it yesterday, the basketball. No doubt. Right here, we have less than a minute to go. And a foul. Really impressed uh, with his opener here. Four threes, 23 points. Uh, his little nephew and was telling me, and it's Rex Chapman being humble, saying, you know. On ESPN2 coming up a little bit later on today here at Thomas and Mack and a basket for the Clippers and for Amari Bay. I mean, you talk about point per minute. Uh, he's just electrifying and really took took the league by storm a little bit uh, a year ago. In about a month where he <laughs> felt like he was getting 30 or 40 every single night. We can light it up. So he's going to be a major focal point for them going forward. We talked to Sean Marks about you know, Ben Simmons, and I know that's a big end. Here at two, two and a half really productive seasons in Philly, and now Derek Whitehead really nice starting take. to heat up. Really nice take by Whitehead. And to beat the Indiana Pacers, can they do it again? We'll find out. Well, it's going to start here, and this is the only way you're able to do it. String together stops. I certainly don't want to give up an uncontrolled. They had eight points in the entirety 
of their 10 minute third but a turnover here Hudgens able to pick it up and get fouled really impaired very long athletic after his one year with Minnesota Trevor Hudgens out of North of national championships with Trevor Hudgens jump stop Keon Johnson can't get the bounce and the contact to earn two free throws First one good for Keon Johnson. League last year ended up playing 41 games total, 18 points a game. Whitehead at the three point line break, knocks it in. Nice step in his game and beating guys off the dribble, but that time got to his step back game. And here's Jordan Miller again and again. Nine times made them all. Bannon on the ball fake against Cloudy, a really tough shot. To Hand to go up and over the top. Bannon, the Aussie from Melbourne. Three or four twenty to go on Friday. Inside Clowney drops it through. Today, that's your last line of defense. That is very difficult to get through. Foul against Clowney. That's a big 2-0. As Josh Bannon goes to the line. Point in that box score at summer. Absolutely. If he can convert, he does. Winner the other day rejected. Kobe Brown on a beautiful feed from Jordan Miller. Back and cutting him off, but didn't pull it back out. Picked it up and saw Kobe Brown running the floor. Judd on the crossover. Poked away, got it back. And the foul is going to be. Uh, His points, Kobe, you'll get all day. Jordan Miller now slippers, but they finished it out 14 to 4. Thanks to Miller. Three seconds to shoot for Keon Johnson. Hit it. Hit it. Right over the it's on that possession, three different guys, but Keon Johnson has the answer at the end of the day. Clippers just too tough. Head coach back when Johnson was a rookie coming out of Tennessee. Nothing's really forced, makes good reads, but then has the talent package to be able to counter good defense. Back then, but he said that's the thing with Keon. He's starting to see the reads before they even happen him hair there. That's uh, Dennis Rodman's son, DJ, getting into the game for the Clippers. Defensive player of the year. Uh, did not get any action in the first leg with Bronny James. Undrafted. Great save. And Brooklyn somehow still with it. Wilson. No. And Rob but he has yet to miss a free throw. 12 for 12 now. He was tournament so far. 36 points on Friday. And now not done. He's going to get a couple more free throws here <laughs> before this thing ends. Probably right. Jalen Wilson. Back cool program going on there. He went over to UCLA. Yeah. And uh, right off the top of my head, I can tell you every team in every conference in the country. Like the MAC conference, the A-10, every all, all of them. <laughs> good luck with that now. Johnson gets two more points. Yeah, don't. Oh, my goodness. Okay, because they're all sponsored. Yes, that's right? right. It's not like the old days. I I love when I, you, you do come up with one. It's like, oh. And I Rodman offensive rebounding. Harkless scoring with 12 seconds. Scoring burst here in the fourth quarter. Final score of our first game three games coming up for you from this floor for more summer league action for Tim Legler our entire